Hey, I'm Jim Richards. Got something great I want to share with you that's going to help you live the ultimate quality of life. And remember, Jesus came that you might have the ultimate quality of life. You know, the Bible tells us that everything is ours through believing. Now, every, everything that Jesus did for us, I mean, legally, He has done, done it for us. Legally, it has been given to us. But we do not participate in any of that until we believe in it. As a matter of fact, uh, um, you know, that you could be experiencing God in some phenomenal way in one area of your life, but in another area of your life, you're not. And you're like, well, God, you're just letting me down. Where, how can I believe in you? you no. You, you, in the areas where you're experiencing Him, those are the areas you believe. In the areas where you're not experiencing Him, those are the areas where you don't believe something about what He's provided for you in that area. Well, the word believe is an incredibly interesting word because it comes from the Greek word gnosis, which has to do with actually experiencing something, but not just experiencing in just some vague way, but experiencing something with every capacity you have as a human being to experience. Now, here's the amazing thing. You know, the Bible, the ancient Chinese, the ancient Japanese, the Indians, the, uh, uh, you know, the, the early Hebrews, all of your ancient cultures realize that every organ in your body plays a role in how you express and how you experience things, how you express and experience certain emotions, how you express and experience certain information. And so... Uh, based on that, this, this is what the Bible is referring to when it says believe on the Lord Jesus. Experience the Lord Jesus with every capacity that you have to experience Him. And when you experience Him, that's actually the word know, when you experience Him, you have a level of believing now that goes beyond the informational state. Now you have something, it's just like where the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. You know, I, I've gone to, uh, all, I've traveled a lot of the world, and I've gone to countries and they would tell me about some food they have and how wonderful it is. And no matter how much they tried to tell me what it was going to taste like, uh, I really didn't know until I tasted it for myself. That's the way God is. You don't really know anything about God that you haven't experienced yourself. You might, you might have that information, but I got news for you. When your back's against the wall, when you're, when, you're trying to, when you're trying to be an overcomer because you're facing incredible odds or difficulties, you want to come from the place of experience. And I want to share with you how you can experience God and come into a believing that is more than information. And if you're interested in checking this out, be sure and click the subscribe button below. I'll pop you an email this Thursday with a link to a short message that's called Knowing and Believing. And I'm telling you what, this is going to be an eye opener for you. It's going to be a game changer. And, it, and it's, it's going to give you a whole new way of approaching God and establishing your entire being in faith, if you will. And now listen, at impactministries.com, you can go there and check out. I've got hundreds of videos on every imaginable subject that will help you sort through probably anything you're facing or anything that you will face. And it's free because, man, we are here to develop disciples to the Lord Jesus Christ. So go to impactministries.com, check it out. Or if you're more interested in this specific message, subscribe below and I'll be talking to you Thursday.